Okay guys, check it out. Welcome back to Mysterious Openings. This will be the fake Pokebox 2. So, I really, really want you, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch the first video. You'll understand why I'm calling this fake. Quick recap, I um, bought a booster box off a website called Joom, an app that you can get on um, Microsoft Store, App Store. About three weeks ago, and been waiting, waiting, waiting for it to come in, and oh, let me see, oh, it's right here. And when it came in, this is what I got. Opened it up, and it had 25 packs in it. Not even 36, it was 25 packs. I got it for $20, not a bad deal overall, but it is what it is. So, as I started opening them, I started coming across every pack has um, a hollow uh, of just, just look, it's every pack has one of these they're gorgeous gorgeous absolutely beautiful cards but they're fake they are 100 percent fake and i can actually show you maybe like you see the very top of it that's where it was inside of a deck of cards and it kind of got crushed when they were sealing it so they're all fake now are they beautiful cards they are very 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 beautiful cards but they're fake. No value to them whatsoever. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open the last 11 packs. If you can see, like this one right here was actually connected to another pack. Anyways, we're going to open these last 11 packs, see what's inside. Also, anybody that is watching it, commenting it, there's been a couple people like Sasha Bright and a few others that have said something about them. And, um... The reason I just did that is because all the GX cards, all the Hall cards in the in the packs themselves just happen to be just laying there. Like someone opened a pack, shoved them in there, whatever. So here's what we got. Butterfree, Morowak, I really can't pronounce. Um, D Wong, Graveler, Sunfisk, Crowbolt, and then the last one, which I stuck upside down is another Hoopa GX. If you watched the last video, I already pulled this guy. Once again, fake card, but still a super, super, super nice card. They're, they're beautiful cards. Um, they feel like a really, really thin plastic, not cardboard or not, you know, actual card or whatsoever, but a super nice card nonetheless. So, what I have figured is, um, anybody who wants one, anybody who wants to try to you know, the, you see a, a one that I've pulled twice of, or and see, also that's the other thing. They're extremely, extremely hard to open these packs. Like, extremely, extremely hard. They're not like a regular pack at all. They feel like they're a different type. I mean, at first, I was like the first pack I opened, I wasn't paying that atten much attention. Then after the third one, I was, after I pulled three GXs straight in a row, I was just like, no, no, not so much. I'm just going to have to open it. Don't try this at home, kids. So, damn. So, anyways, um, but yeah, if you watched it or comments or whatever, um, like Sasha Bright, she said there was one that she really liked, she thought was really pretty, and I'll be willing to send it to you. Um, if I come across like a Charizard, a really cool Pikachu, I'm probably gonna keep it. But anything else, I would be more than happy to give it to somebody. It, you know, it is what it is. Um, let's see if I can go out. Spoiling that last card, probably not. Um, but I'll be willing to, you know, you send me your P.O. box or your mailing address. I'll put it in a sleeve and I will send it to you. Because, I mean, like this one. Oh, crap, my bad. I bumped the camera. That is a tag team. Venusaur and Celeba. Holograph, or the Rainbow Rare. Wish it was real, but it's not. That is the third Rainbow Rare I have pulled out of all these cards. So, but anyways, if any of y'all want the cards, if y'all want, you know, one of them or whatever, <clears throat> comment. Like I said, they're not worth anything. They're completely 100% fake. I got them from the app June. So, if you stumble across it, I'm pretty sure June, Wish, um, Geek, they're all about the same type thing. Um, so more than likely, if you see a really good deal, like $20 for a booster box, you're not, that's, 
I learned my lesson. I won't never order this again. But it is what it is, and I will be more than glad. You know, cause I feel like I can set these up on a pedestal or something, some free, somewhere, and you know, just just for you know, show it. It's a replica, non. It's a fake replica. No big deal. So if you want one, let me know. That's another rainbow. That is a Magic Carp and Waylord. Rainbow Rare. I'm trying to get through these as fast as I possibly can. I don't really. Last video was like 24 minutes long. I'd rather have this one around 15 minutes if we could. You know, it is what it is. Um, let's see here. Boom. Okay. I'm hoping that you like the setup that I got now, or I'm trying to do right now. Um, I'm going to try to get it more comfortable, but I wanted to see. It is a Snorlax and Eva holographic. Once again, fake card. And you can actually see the very top of it, the little bent from packaging or whatever. Um, but it is a beautiful card. I think that's like the second one of that. I mean, I've opened four or five packs so far. That was three rainbow rares in a row. If this was a real box, I would be the happiest person on the planet right now. Um, but it's not a real card, so it is what it is. These cards, though, these do feel real. These look real. They feel real. It's like they used or did something with real packs, and then another beautiful card. This would be a nice one to have in a sleeve up on a on, um, display case or something like that. That way, if someone picks it up, someone's playing with it, you're not worried about them hurting the card because it's not real. Um, that's what my plan is. I plan on decorating my room a little bit more, and I'm going to take a couple of these that I really, really like, and I'm going to I'm going to decorate my room, put some stuff up there. Um, off the camera again. And I am going to put these all around the room. Um, if Ryan wants one, I'll give one to him. But that is my plan. Ringar, mold metal, and another Incineroar GX. That's like the fourth one I've got of them. If you're an Incineroar fan, please hit me up because I've got plenty of those cards. Okay. I'm trying to get through these just as fast as possible. Now, um, after this, this will probably be the last of the fake packs, like, because I'm not planning on buying anymore. And, you know, it'll be it. Plan on going off within the next day or two and buying a bunch more actual Unbreakable Bonds or GX boxes actually seen a really really cool I think EX Mew box and EX Pikachu box that I'm thinking about getting so that way I can add it to my wall um damn these cards are beautiful but anyways so but yeah so I'm planning on adding to my wall or whatever I love doing EX GX boxes and um, hopefully they're gonna come out with more with uh, Unified Minds which is coming out August 2nd by the way and when that one comes out, for sure, me and Ryan's going to be dead on top of it. So anything that you want to know about that, um, please tune into this channel. Please leave a like on this video and a comment. But that is what we plan on doing. We're going to um, do fresh, 100% pure videos of those. And throw some more Unbreakable Bonds, Burning Shadows, and whatever into it. If we can get our hands on some of the classic boxes, the retro boxes, stuff like that, we will do that. But right now we're focusing on the new and upcoming stuff that's coming up. Um, I can't wait for the GX, EX, or it'll be GX boxes for the Unified Minds. That's going to be fantastic. Um, and hopefully, you know, everything will be, um, it'll be just as cool. I mean, if they're Pokemon, so it'll be just as cool. Hey, look, it's Quagmire. All right, look how messed up this card is. Sorry about the interruption, guys. I was getting a phone call, kind of had to answer. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So, what I was going to say is, look at this card. Look how badly cut it is. Like, and on the back of it, you can see that these cards, 
I mean, I was thinking these cards were real, but these cards are probably as fake as they get. That is a quagmire, and he's floating in the river on a fake card. So, I don't think any of these cards are probably real at all. Um, these were kind of full of me because I looked at them and everything looked about the same. But, as Ryan has told me or whatever, several of the cards I pulled aren't even from Unbroken Bond sets. So, I don't know. I mean... I think I just got screwed on the whole deal, but not a big deal, not stressing it. It was $20 and um, it is what it is. So $20, I can get a bunch of cards um, and a lot of the cards that I'm, I'm going to keep even, I'm going to make them sure they're separated so that way I'm not getting them mixed up with real cards, but you know, they are what they are. I've got another Gringar and Mimicly, something. Somebody tell me how to pronounce these names. Um, I read up on them or whatever, but there's really not a whole lot of ways that you know I can pronounce names. Anyway, this is going to be the last pack of this video, and we are going to get away from doing any more of the fake cards, fake packs. Uh, I do implore you not to go off and buy anything from June or Wish that has Pokemon because you'll probably run into this problem. Um, anyways, Victory Bell. Alright guys, I'm keeping that one. I am a huge Pikachu fan. That, that is a beautiful card. That'll just go in one of my sleeves and set up on my wall. You know, if anybody wants to look at it or talk about it or whatever, um, it's fake, you know, there's no texture to it whatsoever, but it is a beautiful card. In fact, let me see if I can, because I think I've got another one. I'm not really sure where I put all of them. Um, let's see if I can go through. Oh, here, I guess we can do it like this. I'll just go through and show you all of the cards that I have pulled from the first video and this video. I believe it's all of them. I don't see any more laying around. Um, I got a cat that came in here and knocked them all off the table, and I'm pretty sure I picked them all up. So, that's a Hoopa, that's an Eevee, a Snorlax, that's another hollow Eevee Snorlax, it's a Gringar, which is a hollow version of that one, that's another Eevee and Snorlax, Gringar, Incineroar, another Gringar, Incineroar. Some of these are really, really pretty. If you're going through this and you see any that you would like, um, leave a shout out, tell me, like I said, inbox me or whatever, and let me know, and we will get to it and see if um, I can get you this card, and that's that one and that one. I thought I had another Pikachu that I really, really liked. Um, not to mention there was another card that I was looking at, and I thought, I don't know, I don't know where I put it. Because right before the video cut, when I was getting that phone call, there was a, a card that I was looking at and that I want because I set them down and I seen it, but I don't see it right this second. Um, I don't know. If I find it, I'll leave it in the link or description or something like that. I don't know where I may have set it. Um, man, I've got so many of these laying around now. We'll go through them and see how many I have or whatever. I don't know where I put that one. I thought I had them all laying right here. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please leave a thumbs up. Smash the like button. That's the thumbs up. And please subscribe. I hope that you enjoy the video. I've got new editing software, and I'm trying this whole thing out. Um, whether it works or not, I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a wonderful night.